Hi, a beautiful morning today, so I can show you how this controller is connected inside and uh, the tracker is behind me, the test tracker. As you remember last time I just connect to our controller the module, uh, Wi-Fi module to get data, send the logs. So we are still dealing with it and uh, as you know you can just see how the full algorithm is working for whole day uh, in the other video. Today I'm just want to show you that we are in progress. So let's go to the tracker. The behind me is a box where we have a power supply and our controller, nothing else. And your tracker is working perfect right now with it. And we are getting the log. We are we are able to you know control the device through our mobile phone as yeah as I showed you last time. So now I'm just wanna show you uh, how this looks inside with the, all the cablings. Uh, for sure, it's not so pretty. And that's why we just need to get some founding and invest on mass production. So let's see what's inside. All right, so let's see what's inside. As you can see, there's a lot of cables. Sorry for inconvenience, but anyway, I just have to make some tests. So we just put uh, access point to have con internet connection to our ESP device and then ESP device just getting data from our controller and inside uh, there is an algorithm and as you can see in here as a new foil actually uh, as you can see in, in here we have a uh, possibility to see what is the status of the device the readings on which side we have a stronger uh, uh, stronger sun uh, radiations and of course the, the time intervals and that, that they are the device is just checking it and then moving the whole platform left right and something like that as you remember uh, I showed you last time how to use our device through uh, Wi-Fi through uh, mobile phone so I'm gonna show you how this looks like in here. So we have a wind alert at the beginning because in most cases you're gonna use it for that purpose. You don't make any changes in the uh, configuration, maybe sometimes and mostly at the beginning and never again. But okay, I decided to add it uh, to let you use it. Maybe you're gonna change something in the configuration, maybe you wanna just you know play the games with it so you have the possibility but anyway the most important is just a wind alert another stuff like moving left right and something like that just you know just a feature uh, in most cases you, you cannot just move the device if you not see what exactly is going on I can see it on the camera so I'm just doing some kind of adjustment but it's only for now in the future you possibly will never use it to check if with the wind alert is working so what's gonna happen right now this uh, construction is going flat to make sure that it's gonna be able to, to deal with a strong wind uh, of course I'm gonna stop it because I don't wanna uh, do any I, I just wanna don't wanna wait for the changes and I don't wanna uh, review it I know that it's working so I just stopped and of course you can just, you know, move uh, west, east or something like that. We are moving right now west and then you can just change the directions. As you hear, the PWM signal is going to the uh, motors and as you hear, the device is pretty small uh, motion. So the small motion led me to... to, to make sure that we really see uh, the position of the radiation let the device see the radiation make the decision and then change the position of course you know the sun is moving pretty slow actually the correlation between the speed of uh, uh, earth and uh, and the sun position is is not so uh, 
fast, so we have to move pretty slow to make sure that this device is pretty correct. Of course, how this whole algorithm is working, you can see on the internet. I just uh, added some kind of video with a with a full day of uh, working algorithm, actually in, in very inconvenient situations. So you can just review it on the on the YouTube. Uh, what else? Of course, you can just use the buttons to, to change the position and make the movement or something like that. Let's make some kind of movement. West, maybe, maybe north. Doesn't matter. It's not so important in here. I can just, you know, go to uh, automatic position. And in here, of course, uh, we decided to add uh, some kind of timing to make sure if someone uh, just, you know, forget to to uh, uh, disconnect the device from our controller then the, after correlated timing he, this device will go to automatic uh, positioning and do not, do not wait for, for the user of course you can just block it but for now there is a possibility to, to check it so what else we want to do in here of course we want to concentrate this device on one PCB not just like in here, you see a lot of cabling in here, it doesn't matter, you don't have to use it like that, I'm just, you know, testing the, the firmware. So that's all for today, and just waiting for help, and just, you know, get our ERC token.